Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Thursday, November 14th, our scripture is found in the 12th chapter of Daniel, verses 1 through 3. At that time, Michael, the great prince, the protector of your people, shall arise. There shall be a time of anguish, such as never occurred since nations first came into existence. But at that time, your people shall be delivered, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever. Everlasting Life Those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake to everlasting life. Verse 2 With truth coded in visions and images, apocalyptic, Apocalyptic scripture offers hope in hopeless situations and encourages a tra traumatized people. It tells us to have courage, take heart, and keep doing what is right. Our all-powerful and righteous God will restore justice. In God's own time, our God of all times and places will vindicate the oppressed and judge the oppressors. Daniel 12, 1-3 adds another message. Our God of life has power over death. The dead will be resurrected, their bodies restored. The righteous will join the angels in everlasting life. After losing his wife of 53 years, a dear man wrote, Dying is not for wimps. Living with deep grief takes courage too. Even with the faithful certainty of resurrection in Christ, which we miss the person. Even understanding that our beloved suffering is over, we mourn. With faithful courage, we believe and grieve. With the promise of everlasting life, we pray for comfort and peace. Our prayer, God of life, in trauma and grief, we pray for hope. Courage, comfort, and peace. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.